Today we learn about triangle midpoint theorem. The triangle midpoint theorem is D and E are midpoint of A, C and B, C. Let's see. So D is midpoint, that means this and this the same length. And E is midpoint, so this and this are same length. Then show that DE is parallel to AB and find DE's length when AB's length is known to be, say, A. Okay, so this is the basic theorem. Um, using this theorem, we can um, create many similar ones. Um, there is a famous, the great saying by Chinese uh, uh, teachers saying, when you see one corner, you should be able to infer three other corners. The example is like, how about after we prove this one, how about if it's not midpoint, but ratio n to one, n to one then this is this parallel to this and what is the length of this when this bottom is known to be length a how about trapezoid you have a trapezoid take a midpoint how about is this parallel to this and what is the length x when the bottom length is known to be a okay so we the we prepare the video for this and video for this the each one you can try out after you prove this guy okay so let's try to prove this one um, we do this, this uh, geometry, we often know how to do this. Extend the line X and connect this. Okay. So what happened here is you have Hold on, it doesn't look like correct ratio. It has to be a little bit more accurate. So you get inspiration. So this is X, this is X and this is unknown but the same length okay so you have this kind of four-sided polygon and you know diagonal is in, uh, bisecting each other at the same length what kind of polygon is this this is a parallelogram so why it is a parallelogram that's what we have to prove first when you have four-sided polygon and diagonal line is bisecting you know what I have to draw a little bit better. Four sided poly polygon, diagonal line is bisecting equal lengths. What kind of uh, uh, polygon is this? Okay, so this 
and this angle same. So we know this triangle and this triangle, they are equilateral. So this and this is same, and this and this is same. In the same way, we can tell because this triangle, the angle is same and the length is same on this side. This and this same and this angle is same. So what happens is you look at this and this, let's see, and this and this. So this angle, these angles are same with a single common line. So what does it mean? This is parallel. The same way this and this is same as this. So with a single line, these lines are also parallel because this guy is same, right? And this guy is same. Okay. So it's a parallel parallelogram. Okay. This is a parallelogram. We just proved that if diagonal is bisecting at the same this uh, lengths each other, then that's a parallelogram. This number one. So let's look at that. Diagonal, uh, diagonal are bisecting at the same length. So this is a parallel. The means this guy are parallel, right? Okay. Now we consider this four-sided polygon here. And we know this and this are parallel right now. Okay. So now we want to know the relationship between this and this. Okay, so when we have two equal lengths, this and this, and they are parallel, then this polygon is a parallelogram again. Now, the first one we say diagonal lines bisecting. then that's a parallelogram. Second thing we say is two equal line segment is parallel. Okay. These are two conditions is for parallelogram. Okay, now let's see if we have a two equal lengths and they're parallel. The lengths are equal. Then this is going to be parallelogram. How we prove that? So we have to introduce diagonal line again. Then diagonal line, we can say this angle is same as this angle. Let me use different color. This and this the same because this and this are parallel, right? And this angle is same as this angle. 
because they are parallel. So once line segment is same length and two angles are same. So what we got here? This triangle and this triangles are equilateral, right? So we go back to the first point. Diagonal line is bisecting. So this must be a parallelogram. If parallelogram, then this guy and this guy's are parallel. Okay. So the first proof we made diagonal lines by bisecting. Okay. The is gonna be the base for the second claim. If there are two equal lines, line segments are parallel then it's created a parallelogram okay so our claim is right now we have the situation here the two equal lengths are parallel so this is the parallelogram so we just proved that de is parallel to ab okay how about the lengths the parallelogram has the same length this length and this length same okay so that's the third crane here about the parallelogram parallelogram has the same length on the air of facing side right so it should be this is same as this the we can tell by this triangle is uh, equilateral and this is another uh, equilateral side so we can tell Parogram has the same length. So this entire length is actually A when you know this is A. But initially we extended this X here. So 2X equals A, right? So X equals half. So DE is half of AB. Okay, got it? Okay, so we have to make sure when you prove something, we prove something is uh, it's airtight. There's no skip in the logic, right? Now, please check out the video. We have this and this also. And using this result, okay, the geometry is kind of... Uh, building up structure from bottom to all the way to the top so the basic theorem this is called triangle midpoint theorem is going to provide very good basis to prove this and this if you like this uh, video please click subscribe and check other videos Thank you.